this is Reggie Beats Media. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna show you how to add a menu on a WordPress website. On my previous video, I've showed you how to develop a website for free on WordPress using Elementor. So if you even watched this video, go check it out. The link is in the description below. On this video, we'll be focusing on putting a menu because a couple of you guys asked for it. And I gotta say thank you guys for watching my videos, liking them, commenting, and also subscribing. I'll be putting out way more content. Now we are on our WordPress dashboard, we need to go to the menu now because before we can display a menu here, we need to create a menu, right? So let's go to hover over the name of the website and go to menus. All right, so now we're going to create our menu. Here we see it's written menu structure and here menu name. This is where we're going to be putting the name of our menu. So you're going to call it main menu. You can name it main menu and you're going to go down here where it says menu settings and we're gonna select header because we want this menu to show on the header of the website. And now you're gonna click on create. Okay, great. Now our menu has been created because as you can see, the button no longer says create menu, it says save, save menu, which means the menu is created. Now we need to add the items to the menu. So currently our menu is empty and we need to add some contents to it, right? So when you go to the left, you see it says pages, posts custom links categories so these are all the items you can put on the menu so we're gonna put the home page because you currently only have the home page and i click that click on add to menu and click on save menu okay now we're gonna go to our page go to visit site open it in a new tab so that we can edit our menu go to edit with elemental and select header Oh, we see we already have a menu that has been we already have a menu widget here that came with the template so we just gonna select the menu but then if you don't have a, a template or a widget i'll show you how to add it as well so i want to select this menu widget you'll see on the left it says select menu since we've created our menu now we can go click on select main menu there it is now our menu is selected and we click on update we see we have home here so let's see how our website is looking with that Okay, let's go back to our home page. Okay, cool, we only have home, but we want to add more. So let me go back to the page and show you how to add the menu if you didn't have the menu entered here. Okay, so if you didn't have this widget added initially, you can add it very simple. Just go to Elemental Elements and search for menu. And here we have Elements Kit Nav Menu. You can just take it and drop it here. And then you can just select main menu then it's gonna appear there that's if you didn't have it installed so i'm gonna delete it so that you know we don't have duplicates okay great so now we need to add more items to the menu of course and the items we want to add since our website it's more of a one page website we want to add a menu that will reference all of these sections here so the first section you're gonna create on the menu which is the second one it is services so let's click on edit with elemental Okay, so now we're gonna scroll down to services, right? So you see when you hover over services, you will see this uh, section border here. You will see the section. Just click on edit section, and you go to advanced, and go to CSS ID. This is very important because that's what we're gonna be using to reference this section on our menu. So now we can call this services. Uh, and it's case sensitive so make sure that you remember what you type services okay, i'm gonna copy that and i'm gonna click on update so now we've named our section services so now we're gonna go back to our menus which is here you can open it again if you close your tab and we're going to add that specific section the services section on our menu so since that's not a page it's a section we're gonna go to custom links you see there's custom links here you click on it and it says url and you're gonna put a hashtag then you put the name of the id that we've uh, entered here css id then you're gonna go back to the page and you're gonna type the name for this will be services click on add to menu great now we have services there click on save now let's preview our website to see how it's working. Okay, great. Now we have home and services. When you click on services, 
goes all the way down to services. So I'm gonna add for the rest, which is about us, our work, book a session. So I'm gonna go to the elementary page, to our home page, so I can add more CSS IDs. So I'm gonna scroll down. This is about us. I'm gonna go to advanced again. Go to CSS ID, call it about. I'll just call it about to make it easy. I'm gonna go down. And then here I'm gonna call it work instead of saying our work. I'm gonna call it work so I can make it easy in terms of spelling. So as you can see, I'm just going through all the sections and giving them CSS ID names. So ID there, we're gonna go to CSS ID. I'm gonna call this work because it's the work that we've done. Scroll down, I'm gonna call this book. Because that's how you when you book a session. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna click on update. Now we're gonna go back to our menu and add all this section. So, okay, let's see which ones we're adding first. We're adding the about now. So we're gonna go to custom links again, type about, and then here, hashtag about. Oh, not services, but about. So that's the name of the ID. And then now we're gonna create another one, call it our work. So the link text doesn't matter. It can be anyhow, as long as the URL matches. So we say it's work. As long as it's matching the CSS ID. And I add that. And then we're gonna add another one which is book. Yes, book. Oh snap, what did I do? Okay, then you go to book a session. Here we're gonna type hashtag book book a session. And we added that. So I'm gonna save this menu. And I'm gonna go to our website because I already have it open. I'm gonna refresh. Great, now we have a nice, beautiful looking menu, right? So let's see if it all works. Services, dope, it works. About, dope, it works. Work, it works. Book a session, it works. So yes, they all work. That's how you add a menu on a WordPress website. If you have learned something, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below and I'll reply to them as soon as today. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.